What if we told you there's a planet out there, Kepler 452b, that might just be our best chance at finding extraterrestrial life? While many worlds are scorched by radiation or frozen in ice, this mysterious exoplanet could hold the key to our cosmic future. Join us as we explore into the secrets of Kepler 452b and discover what makes it so special. For years, we have pondered on the possibility of aliens and life outside what we see and have known for centuries. Scientists still don't know if Earth's biosphere is unique or if life naturally evolves elsewhere in the universe under the right conditions. Because of this, the search for life outside our planet is a major focus of science. To guide this search, researchers developed a tool called the Earth Similarity Index. The ESI helps scientists identify planets that might have conditions similar to Earth's based on two major parameters, surface gravity, which is whether the planet can hold an atmosphere, and temperature, which is crucial for liquid water to exist. When a new exoplanet is discovered, scientists use basic data like its orbit, size, and mass to calculate its ESI. However, the ESI was considered too simple and did not include other important factors that might affect a planet's ability to support life. And so, to redefine the ESI, scientists have looked into additional factors. And the first of such is the parent star's activity. Stars like red dwarfs often have violent flares and radiation bursts, which can make nearby planets less hospitable. However, red dwarfs are better for life than massive stars like Sirius or Vega, because those stars have short lifespans and emit intense radiation that prevents life from developing. Stars similar to our Sun, or slightly smaller, like orange dwarfs, are considered ideal for supporting life. Tidal locking is also an added perimeter. If a planet is too close to its star, it may always show the same side to the star, creating extreme temperature differences between the day and night sides. If it's too far, the planet may be too cold, lying outside the habitable zone, where conditions are no longer suitable for liquid water. As for its chemical composition, a planet needs the right mix of elements to support life. Rocky planets like Earth, or larger rocky planets called super-Earths, are ideal. Planets like mini-Neptunes lack solid surfaces, and ocean planets might have too much water but not enough of other essential elements for life. With all these factors in play, scientists can better judge whether an exoplanet has the right conditions for life. Earth, of course, is the gold standard, as it meets all these criteria. Within our solar system, Mars is the most Earth-like planet but has its downsides. It's too cold, lacks enough mass to hold a thick atmosphere, and has little liquid water. Venus, while similar in size and structure to Earth, is far too hot due to its extreme greenhouse effect. No planet in our solar system perfectly matches Earth's conditions for life. However, beyond the solar system, over 5,000 exoplanets have been discovered so far. Some of these planets show a lot of promise as potential candidates for life. One such planet is Gliese 1002. In 2022, a group of international scientists led by researchers based in Spain discovered an exoplanet system with a mass similar to Earth's. This system is strange to astronomers because it hosts two planets, both of which are located in the star's habitable zone. These two planets are what we've come to know as GJ 1002b and GJ 1002c. GJ 1002b is actually the closer of the two to its star, completing an orbit in about 10 days, while GJ 1002c takes a little longer, with an orbital period of about 21 days. However, our focus for now is the former and just like us, it has piqued the interest of researchers, especially considering the possibility of alien life on this planet. The star GJ 1002b looks really promising because the planet itself is a quiet red dwarf, which is important for habitability. Many red dwarfs are known for their intense stellar flares, which can make it difficult for life to survive on nearby planets. However, GJ 1002b appears to be relatively stable. The risk of harmful radiation stripping away the atmospheres of its planets is little to none. This stability increases the chances that these worlds could maintain conditions favorable for life. And although we don't yet know if these planets have atmospheres, their location in the habitable zone gives scientists hope. 
If GJ1002B and GJ1002C have atmospheres, they might be able to support liquid water, one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. But what if we told you that Earth had a bigger, much older cousin? If we travel 1,800 light years away from our solar system, we find the amazing Kepler 452b. On July 23, 2015, the Kepler Space Telescope made an incredible discovery, an exoplanet named Kepler 452b. Kepler 452b is often referred to as Earth's cousin because of its similarities to our home planet. However, its increased size suggests it may have a thicker atmosphere and a higher surface gravity than our planet, which could make conditions on the planet quite different from what we experience here. It's located about 1,800 light years away from our solar system. Consider the fastest spacecraft humans have ever built, NASA's New Horizon probe, which flew past Pluto in July 2015. This spacecraft travels at an incredible speed of 56,628 kilometers per hour, about 35,000 miles per hour. Even at such a mind-blowing speed, it would take the New Horizons spacecraft approximately 26 million years to reach Kepler 452b from Earth. Kepler 452b orbits a star that is estimated to be 6 billion years old, making it much older than our Sun which has existed for about 4.6 billion years. This has resulted in a process called stellar evolution, meaning that as stars age, they tend to grow larger and emit more energy. And so, the planets that orbit these stars gradually warm them up over time. What this means for us is that Kepler 452b is most definitely warmer than our planet. Kepler 452b's mass and composition are still unknown, but researchers say that planets of its size are likely to be rocky, like Earth. This gives scientists hope that Kepler 452b might have a solid surface, which is an important factor in determining its potential to support life. Its full orbit is also slightly longer than ours. It takes the planet about 385 days to complete one orbit. The makeup of Kepler 452b is also striking because even its parent star is very similar to our Sun, classified as a G-type main sequence star, or a yellow dwarf. Scientists also believe Kepler 452b resides in the habitable zone of its star, which insinuates the presence of liquid water. Now, with all of these ESI parameters checked out, there could indeed be life on Kepler 452b. Now we're wondering if that's possible, what else is? Let us know in the comments what you think.